Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be getting ready for a craft fair this weekend. Let's get into it. On Saturday, I have a show at Chantilly High School to support the girls basketball team. So be sure to come out and come support the girls. Uh, tickets are $3 at the door, cash only, no card. And then there's different activities and games. There's over 80 vendors that will be there. So it's gonna be a really fun event. There's gonna be food trucks. Uh, I think it's gonna be great. I'm really excited. So uh, let me show you what I've already done so far. I already went through all my show supplies and have the items sitting out that I want. This is my checkout basket. These are different display items. Uh, these are my tablecloths here. Uh, these are extra scrunchies, a uh, basket for overflow, and my signs. Um, these are my key fobs. We have uh, the uh, soap pouches and the freebies, uh, jar openers, and their uh, uh, example cans. And then these are the scrunchies. Here I have my display for towels and my uh, key fob in uh, scrunchie displays. Then I have my sign. The tables are already loaded in the car. And then here I have my checkout bag or my bag with all my supplies. I already went to the bank. I have plenty of cash uh, and then any other supplies that I may need. If you haven't already watched my video on what items you need in your like tool bag, uh, go ahead and check that out. I list a bunch of different things that I think are important to have at every show. There's one item I'm missing that I listed out there. Do you guys know what it is? The reusable towels. So I brought the bag in here. So I know that I need, uh, I calculated last year on how well my sales are. I'll pull a picture up here. I talked about it in another video is how to calculate how many items you need per show. And I know I need about 20 jar openers and 20 towels. Obviously I like to take more than that because that's how many it will sell and I want to have leftover. So let me count what I already have made and then we'll see how much we have to package up. So here, oh, here I have my display towel set, which is available. Someone could definitely buy it. And then let me count what I have here. I'll flip you around so you can count with me. The total is 21 towels ready to go, which means I have 20 packaged up in my display. That's the perfect number. However, I would like to take more just to be on the safe side. The next thing I want to check for is how many I have that are animal print and how many I have that are feminine and then masculine are pretty much the three categories. Here's what I think about the categories. I feel like these are masculine as well as like the save the trees and then this outdoor one. So that's a good amount. I definitely do not have enough animal print. I don't have any cats. I only have two dogs. I would say that these are the more feminine prints, which I have quite a bit of. Um, so I would definitely say that I need to make sure that I have enough animal print is what I'm missing. This table has been in my craft room for, what, over a month now. If you've watched my uh, cotton flannel videos up to this point, we've got a lot going on here. You know, all the extras at the bottom here. So I finished the brown, I finished the white, I finished the black. I have not finished the blue and I have not finished the gray, but I'm all right with that uh, because this is a ton that I finished here and I can get packaged up. This stack here is from the thrift store haul. So once I finish the blue and the gray, then I'll go ahead and cut this guy up. And I cannot believe how much thread I've gone through. Uh, I did an Instagram video <laughs> on my thread when I first started. And let me show you it now. This is my thread box as of right now. However, I have not done the gray yet, which those are going to be dwindled down a lot. And then the blues, I better gone. I don't even think I have enough blue. I think I'm going to end up having to use white or maybe black. I think that this stack here of blues is too much for the amount of thread that I have. But that's okay, because even you can see right here, like this could be white, this could be white. So I'm, it's not a big deal. I'm going to pick a couple patterns from here to go ahead and package up. And uh, that is what I'm going to work on right now. To take with me to the show. Here is the pile that I selected. It actually turned out to be 20 towels. Uh, let me take them to my table and I'll show you. And I did remember that I had to set aside a big order that someone already placed, so I didn't want to use those towels on accident. So let's see what these patterns are. Here's the stack. I picked two of each, so that if someone wants to buy more than one, I have that available. 
So they're stacked masculine, uh, animal, and then feminine. So I have this black plaid, then this wood grain, this uh, barbecue print, dog plaid, buffalo plaid, dog red and uh, black, dog brown. This is the only cat one I have because the other cat ones are in gray, so I'll need to sew some gray up before this weekend if I want to have them. This sunflower with little bees. The solid purple tie-dye. And then this bright floral. So let me know what you think. Uh, go to my video where I show all the patterns that I have and let me know if there's a different pattern you think I should take with me. I'm gonna go turn on my iron and then I need to iron these into three sections and go ahead and use the clothes gun to nail them at the top and then put my label in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and package them up. 30 minutes of ironing later and we have beautiful stacks. So let's start packaging. I'm gonna take the pile and then I have one of my done ones here so I know what size to make it. It's my serger cord and I'm using one inch barbs. I did have uh, longer ones, but they don't work as well as the smaller ones. I like the smaller ones better. So I'm just going to fold here on the back and make sure that I make them the same size. So we'll fold. And a fold. I think that's good. Yep, that looks pretty good. And then you just stab them through. I like to push it against myself. I'm pushing it against myself to try and get the needle to go through. And then you push really hard. See the little barb? I hold this side with my finger while I pull out. And there we go. So I guess I do use, it's hard to show because I'm like pushing it against my stomach to try and get enough pressure. And this isn't because of the one inch barbs, it's just because of the length of the needle. All right, there we go. So now it is like attached. This is just beautification and information. So I'm about to do the rest of the stack and then I'll come back. Ten minutes and we are all done check out that stack so that only took me 30 seconds per towel that is one of the fastest steps out of all of them next is to cut up the labels and get those on I make all my own signage and labels for this I used uh, Avery and I've actually been using that a lot lately if you like a video on how to make uh, different signage and labels on Avery just let me know and I'll go ahead and do that so uh, the old one it said a uh, reusable towel set of eight. It's like it's all the same information except for this guy here. And I just readjusted it because like this is one. So now I'm going to cut these up and I put these stars so I know exactly where to hole punch and I made space so they could actually be even this time. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these up and hole punch. Got my labels here all cut up. I definitely have way more than I need, but that's fine because you saw the table of all the ones that I need to package for additional shows. So I'm just going to run my thread which I have a big old spool and get them packaged up. About 10 minutes of work later I have a ton of tags left over which is great. So this took me about 30 seconds per towel again, which is great to know. So it takes me about a minute for each towel to get packaged and 30 seconds for the label, 30 seconds for the uh, barbs. So these are all ready to go for the show. I'm really excited.
I'm so glad that I got all the towels done. It is so nice to have a fresh batch ready to go in case there's any people that saw me before. Uh, my next project, these guys sitting here are going to turn into a mystery project that I'm hoping to have done for this weekend to sell. If not, I'll have them with me for Virginia Beach next month. Uh, take your guess down below. I'll give you a hint. It's something for a table. Uh, so I'm, people have been asking me for this product, so I'm hoping that it will be a popular item. I found a way to make them in 10 minutes and I have 16 of them here. So it should take me about three hours. I'm wondering if I can get it done tonight and tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see. I'm glad I got the towels done. I have the jar openers, the scrunchies, the key fobs, and the soap pouches. So I definitely have plenty of product, but I'd like to try out this new product as well. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below what you think the mystery product is and I will be sure to do a video on it next week as well as my review of the event and how many sales I got and all the sales numbers because I know you guys like that. So please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much.